we have a plaque that we frame. It's got a letter describing the challenge coin. It is signed by Steve Burton, uh, my manager in Texas, myself, and Chris McCorris, who is your FTS. Okay? Um, so, right before the pandemic started, right? <clears throat> no, this was uh, just a few months ago. Okay. Chris called me and said, hey, I think I got a good candidate for one of your challenge points. Okay, so tell me the story. So Chris shared the story with me about how the technician went above and beyond. And I said, by all means. So I got approval from my management to go ahead and get this thing framed up and present it to Carla. So I would like to turn it over to Chris right now. Chris will give the details of, of what he did. Thanks, Craig. Uh, so just a few months ago, we actually had a uh, what turned out to actually be a uh, catastrophic failure in one of our newer vehicles. Um, and nobody likes to have a catastrophic failure, especially on a brand new vehicle. It was a uh, 2020 uh, ES 350 uh, that actually just made it through its first oil change. The customer was out of state and actually had a uh, breakdown on the highway that was close, close to here and uh, ended up getting it towed here. Obviously, all hands were on deck because it was a catastrophic failure on a brand new vehicle that just barely made it to its first oil change. Uh, thinking the worst that we actually had a manufacturing problem or something that was going on uh, and that definitely needed to be investigated a little bit further, uh, getting off a hold of the technical staff here and getting to the bottom of it uh, to see whether or not we actually need to get a team of engineers out here to see what it is because, you know, our engines are complex and they're not cheap. <clears throat> Uh, so once we got through the diagnostic process and we found the findings, uh, Carlo actually brought to our attention that it was actually caused by human error, not necessarily a manufacturing process, which is something that just kind of happens in, in a day-to-day -day business, especially in the automotive operations. Uh, but the nice thing is there's no guess at the end of it. And to be able to tell the guests that this was you know, a, a human error, not actually a manufacturing process for the brand new Lexus, um, it gives them a little bit of sense of uh, you know, stability that one, we're definitely going to take care of it for you, and two, that your vehicle is still whole, and we're going to make it back up to the, uh, to the manufacturing standard that your vehicle is built with. So ultimately that vehicle did get repaired with a brand new engine, a brand new Lexus engine, um, and the guest was made whole. Uh, but probably went above and beyond and actually found that it was not in warrantable condition, but it was actually a human error, which gave Lexus uh, a great deal of satisfaction because we know that we built a very good unit and a very good car, and we we, uh, we rely on that reliability and share that with our guests, and that's what our guests expect. So, uh, in order to recognize Carlo for going above and beyond and actually finding the root cause of that failure, and not uh, having it be in a manageable condition, um, just really speaks volumes for going above and beyond what any other technician would do to say that, hey, the engine blew up, and there's nothing more that we need to do other than fix the engine. Probably wouldn't go beyond and actually find out exactly why that engine did uh, have that catastrophic failure. So, again, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So, I think we'll have a gift card here for you. That's cool. Thank you. Hope you get, a, get some nice new tools with that. <laughs> <laughs> and just wanted to say thank you for your, uh, your efforts going above and beyond, uh, especially when it comes to the quality of our vehicles. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Awesome.